and we're back! Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed our first run through with uh, my good, my good Dutch son, Tanner. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do this again, and we're not gonna get blown up. Or we might, you never know. No, we're gonna eat a grass instead because we thought we were playing Dragon's Dogma again. That, that's that's what happens sometimes. You, you, you just you forget which game you're playing because you got that muscle memory. All right, so we're gonna keep going up here. We're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye out for these guys over here. We're gonna try and. Right through. Look at that, we're keeping structures intact. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I see you over there. Are so God, the way the bodies move. Um, Michael Lutz, uh, aka Warren, at Warren is dead on Twitter, had uh, some really great commentary about the weird way in which the ragdolling uh, impacts kind of the readings of the game. And uh, how one plays it. Man, I am. I can see him. I've got a little bit of glare on my monitor, which makes being in very dark rooms hard to see. Let's eat a grass. Hey buddies, you want to come out? That's all we can say there, because there is no good reason we should have survived just then. Dutch cow or a beautiful white sun. Okay, now well, there's there's some shit out here we have to deal with. Yep, yeah, there's that guy. He sees us. He's aware of our existence. Is he aware of just how much mana we have? Grass. Grass for good, strong, growing boys. That's where we died. 
actually not where we died. We died over there. But we're smart this time. We've learned. We've learned to do this. Well, we learned to do that. Come on. Want to be a smart guy? He's just hanging around with all that explosive stuff. Be aware of the enemy's fire attacks. Yeah, these guys suck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Like that. Oh, we got a halberd. Can we use the halberd? Let's go over here with a little bit. Oh, Jesus Christ, Tanner. Okay, well, that was unexpected, but we needed to go down here anyway. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Voluntaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. You ever just like give a bro a telescope because like it did you a solid? Now I must go. There is something for me to take care of. So this is a Strava of Boletaria. We have to actually go keep his ass safe now. He's gonna get into some shit. Like, see? Dude, you, you know how to pick up, don't you, Estrada? He's got all that. See, he's, he's a good example of how armor really ain't shit in Dark Souls. This motherfucker will just get wrecked if you leave him alone. He's a royal too. That's why he's of Astrava. Or of Boletaria. He's Astrava of Boletaria. We're gonna get the stuff back here. Get some more souls. Starting shit. But he's not gonna finish. He's gonna get us killed. What on earth are you doing? Please! You must not! I thought we were allies! We are, Brady. You're in my way. No matter how far I venture, only the soul staffed remain. Is there a single sane person left in Boletaria? Not really. I mean, do you even count? Oh no, he's gonna get his shit wrecked back in here. Don't worry, I got you. No matter how far I vent, is there a sick.
No matter how far I've... Is there... So we're just gonna follow him for a minute or two because we don't want him to die. Save those. But okay, Estrada is safe for now. Um, we are going to keep exploring. safe here for you now. No. Yeah, we're wandering around like Mistrava. These dumbass royals.
here, two handed scimitar. Cut, motherfuckers. That's right. guy. his dumb ass out again. Is there a single sane person left in Boletaria? Okay, hold on. Yeah, I want to see something cool. So satisfying. Okay, I think we took care of basically everything down there. Oh, there's those guys. I didn't even touch them. So we, we did all this, where did we come from that we died last time? That's the key, to remember, where did we die? I think it was over this way. Got you, bro.
else want to be a jerk? Yeah, I think so. Got our souls back. That's what's up. Yeah, I see you. I saw you. you up. Coming up here. You shoot that shit at me. I come up here and I mess you up. That's how it works. What do you think about that? I'm gonna eat some grass. Got an arrow in me, but look at it. Look how happy we are to eat grass. Why use fire when I can use magic? Just as effective. Someone went all the way over there for no reason. This guy is the dredgling merchant. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? There's such good, good voice acting in this ga these games. Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> Isn't that great? I think it's great. Okay. Bye, Aina. What do you got? Buy a spear. Buy a slave shield. That's... That's something. Wait, no, wait, laggy. Eh, we don't need any armor. Um, oil cask. Throwing it produces a large flame. That heals bleeding. 
bleeding is one of the many status so you can you can get in this game and it sucks well, it's got really nothing we want um, we have so much grass already um, a couple more of these just because we use some and they're useful there's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. Oh, this dude. It is the end of Batel. At least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> See, we're, we're already. We're we're already directly commenting on on the monarchy. Because yeah, like you know, the demons will snatch your souls, but I mean, fucking kings, right? That was just funny. Okay. Now let's go back through that fabulous fog door. It's other way. Oh god damn it. Okay, we lived. Ah, love that grass. My large sun fed on grass like a ruminant. I know in Dark Souls, fall damage is based on the weight of your armor, or I think just your weight in general, but that is, of course, heavily influenced by the weight of your armor. I don't know if that's the case in Demon Souls. I don't remember. All right, let's see what's through here. Hold on one second. Momentarily concerned that it was not recording, but I think it is. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing audio. This the, the video in OBS went black. I was, forgot about that, but this is fun. You got, you gotta love it. Nice dragon. There's some birds. Just dragons. We're gonna run into them later. Oh, can't break that. We should eat some grass. I don't remember what we're coming up to. But we're coming up to some bullshit. I swear, by the end of this LP series, I will have internalized the controls, and then I will just be worthless in Dragon's Dogma. Thankfully, Dragon's Dogma is a much less punishing game. Like, you could just make mistakes in Dragon's Dogma. Do I want to hear them fun? Did you hear that? Did you hear those? Those at me. Can doesn't care though. Can has got grass. Oh, 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. You know, that happens. You know, you get careless in these games and... Shit happens. dropped grass for us. He dropped a slave shield. Because remember, they, they forced him to fight. That's what, that's what the one dude said. Royals are bad. Yeah, I knew you were hiding back there. Dumbass. Truly tragic. You know, the funny thing is, like, the first time I played Demon Souls, I'm pretty sure I, like, died, like, twice. All of this, like, entire thing. You know, the tragedy is, of course, we lost all those souls. But... We accept that loss. Yeah. You didn't 
like that. Strav is still down there dealing with that shit. Guess we can help him out. to how far I venture is that you really want to keep going in here don't you buddy not I thought we were allies don't get in my way then bro Strava is safe again. Now we can turn back up here. See what's going on. Yeah, there's this dude.
he just stood there, looking silly, not knowing what to do with himself. Oof. A little close. souls. We didn't go back here before, did we? I don't actually remember what's back here. Oh yeah, we did. He's shooting shit at me. Oh, I see you. I'm gonna kill you. Satisfied watching all that happen. right. This is where the dragons are. So this is fun. Because we can run over there. And grab some things. But we have to be very quick. Because we have to trigger the dragon first. And then run over there. While he's over here. It's not very efficient. We're not going to do it because we've died so many times. And there's really nothing over there that we can really use that's all that helpful. We're much better suited just running through here.
Okay. Now, that's taken care of. So now we just need to run like hell. Nope, can't take care of those guys yet. Come on, come over here. Safe on the other side. Well, safe is an extremely relative term in Dark Souls. Yeah, I know. You're... I have acid reflux too sometimes. a good boss intro. Just kind of this weird flob that then flings a giant barbed spear. Oh, man, I'm sorry, you. Anyone else? You want to be a smart guy? Turpentine. We know about that. It puts fire on the sword. I see there's a general trend in this area of fire based items. And I wonder where that could be. Yeah? What you got, buddy? fire on the next enemy. This is actually fairly true. And fairly useful advice. Because there's these guys again. Well, I'll have to get down to the bottom now. So yeah. There's these assholes. They're just gross blobs with shields. Oh, he dropped some shards. That's nice. Um, did you recognize that, that blobby shields thing that he threw right into us? Yeah. It's a clue. I'm kind of sad you don't get to walk around with that just stuck in your body. Just for a little bit. You know? God, 
Jesus. Stop throwing shit at me. I can't even eat my grass. That's okay. Tanner likes his grass. Okay. More grass. If you use the lever. And now we have another shortcut. Isn't that exciting? Another shortcut. And then there's the boss wall. Look at that thing. I don't want to deal with that shit. But first... Okay, we're not going to use this. We use this. I don't want this on my... rearrange this. So first we want a grass, and then fireball, and then turpentine. Okay. Y'all ready for some crazy shit? Wonder if we'll die on our first try. Oh wait, we should just... We're gonna wait a second. It's gonna hang out. Let our... Uh, let our, our mana just refresh a little bit. That's important, having your mana refresh. We don't want to go into a boss fight with, like, no mana. Even half mana is not. Okay, this is taking a long screw. We're going. Besides, we're going to put a fire out the sword anyway. So look at this shit. So there's these guys, and they're just going to throw this shit at us. Because it's a whole fucking thing. It is a phalanx. But this is how you deal with it. Totally failed that one. <laughs> that was that was terrible. So we're just gonna hang back and shoot it with magic. Especially now that our magic's here. And you know what? We don't have to deal with these guys anymore. Oh. What just happened? Oh. Oh. How tragic. Okay, we have to restart. Sometimes these things happen. We are, after all, emulating this, so... We're bound to run into some glitches here and there. But we're just gonna go right back up in here. Run past all these jerks. Yeah. And then right into the fog gate. Right back over to grab our souls real fast. 
Okay, maybe not just yet. Sometimes you just gotta run away until your mana comes back. But now 
we can touch the arch stone. Because we did it. And we got the lead demon soul. And we can go back to the Nexus. Where it's safe. Now stuff's gonna happen. Welcome back. See, she got wax in her eyes because the monumental awaits the above. Monumental will explain the nexus to thee. And we're back and we have a body again. Look at us. Look how happy we are. So good. And let's just stop this here. And that'll be episode two. And then we'll continue. <laughs>